Hello students, it's now time for the problem set. So we are in module two, as you know, and this is page 111, lesson 13 problem set. So find the page, put your name and date. As usual, we are not going to do all of the problems. So that is why I circled B, D, and F on this page. You can copy me, go ahead and circle those three. And I'm going to read the objective. Use whole number multiplication to express equivalent measurements. So remember, we're working with conversions and measurements. Let's see if I can zoom in. So here's the example, just like we were doing in the warm up together. This problem is converting weeks to days. So they gave us eight weeks and they wanna know how many days. And we know that there are seven days in a week. So you do eight times seven. 56 days is equal to eight weeks. So that one was done for us. So on this page, on this, um, page we're gonna do three problems. So I will do B with you and then you do D and F by yourself. So um, in this book, they are giving us blanks to fill in. I do not mind if you skip the blanks. If you understand how to do this without filling in the blanks, sometimes it's easier to do it um, the way that's easiest for you. That's totally fine. And if you wanna fill it in, then you can use this as your guide. So basically, they were just copying um, the number in front of the word. So eight weeks, they put an eight. So here we would put a four. And then um, uh, they would put a number one for year, just like we did a one for a week. And then below, just like they put the eight, we would put the four again. And then we have to know how many days are in a year, just like they knew how many days were in a week. So um, remember how many days are in a year? That's right, 365. And now we do our multiplication, but you wanna line it up vertically. Go ahead and solve that and put your final product. Is that what you got? 1,460 days is equal to four years. Wow, that's a lot of days. Okay, so now you're gonna do, if you got that right, by the way, give yourself a check. Okay, now you're gonna do D and F by yourself and I will support you by reminding you what the conversion is. So we're converting yards to feet. Remember that there are three feet in one yard. So that's your hint that will help you solve it. This is the one you wanna memorize. And then this one you're doing pounds to ounces. Remember that in one pound, there are 16 ounces. So those are the two facts that will help you, the two um, conversions that will help you solve the problem. So pause the video, solve both of these by yourself, unpause, and we'll go over the answers. Okay, time to go over the answers. So I see that we have 5.7 or 5 and 7 tenths of a yard, and there's three feet in every yard. So I'm going to do my multiplication problem of 5.7 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 15, 16, 17. Remember how we put in the multiplication decimal mark, the decimal point? One, start over here, one place value. Put in my decimal point, and now I read it, 17 and one-tenth. So remember the units, we're talking about feet. So now I'm going to write my final answer with the abbreviation of for feet. FT. And that is my final answer. Give yourself a check if you got that right. And then the final one, convert pounds to ounces. So we're given 12 and 5 tenths pounds or 12 and a half pounds. I'm going to write it larger. 
and I know that in every pound there's 16 ounces. So I'm going to multiply by 16. Remember, you don't have to line up the decimals when you're multiplying. You just do move the decimal at the end. Okay, let's multiply. 6 times 5 is 30. 12, 13, 14, 15. 6 plus 1, 7. Place value holder 0, 5, 2, 1. Add straight down. 0, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2. Okay, now I put in my, my um, decimal point. Over 1, start on the right. Over 1, put it in. I don't even need to include this last um, 0 tenths because my final answer is 200. So don't forget your units. We say 12.5 pounds is equal to 200 ounces. And that's my final answer. If you got that correct, give yourself a check. And if you want to score the whole page, that was three out of three, because we did three problems together. Okay, turn the page. I'm gonna have you do a few more problems all by yourself. Okay, so A is our example. You can look at that if you need help. Cross off D because we haven't worked with liters or milliliters yet. And I would like you to do B, C, E, and F. So that's four more problems today by yourself. So before I have you work alone, let's just circle which one, wh what measurements we're using. So B is using kilograms and grams. Remember that this is like your, your um, the thing that will help you. There is one kilogram, sorry, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. That will help you. C is meters and centimeters. Remember, centi means 100. So there are 100 centimeters in one meter. E is using pounds and ounces. That's the one we were just doing. So remember there is there are 16 ounces in one pound. And finally, F is using yards and inches. So remember there are Oh, this is actually slightly complicated because you have to do two conversions. Remember, there are 12 inches in one foot, and there are three feet in one yard. So I am going to, on the spot, make a change. I'm going to say um, required is B. C and E, that's three problems, and F is your challenge bonus. So I would like everyone to do these three problems. If you'd like to challenge yourself with F, please do so. And after you're done with those three, you are done with the math set for today. Good job.